let's talk about using the current date or time in a pipeline. Welcome to QuickBase Junkie. I help QuickBase builders learn fast to deliver more. It can be helpful in a variety of ways, whether it's used as part of a query or in the value of a field or even used in something like an email. Unfortunately, it's not as easy as picking today or now from a dropdown. This is where Jinja comes to the rescue. I've got a really basic app here to demonstrate how to use Jinja to access the current date or time. On this record, I have four fields, a date field, a date time field, the time of day field, and a simple text field. Let's look at the pipeline I also have set up for this record. I already have pipelines open, but if you haven't used pipelines yet, check out my video on setting up pipelines. Here I am in the pipeline designer. I've already got this set up to initially look up a record. Again, keeping this super simple, I just wanna look up the record that we were just looking at. I'm pulling that in to my pipeline using those fields, time of day, date, date, time, and text. And then I'm just simply querying for that record ID. This way I can trigger it on demand and quickly show you what the results are. What we'll be doing with that record is updating each of these fields. I'll pull them all in now in order to show you how the Jinja template works. I'll start first with the date and time field. Anytime Jinja is used, you're gonna see some curly brackets. When we have these double curly brackets, we're creating what's called a Jinja expression. Within this Jinja expression, I'll simply type in time dot now. This will give us the current date and time in the UTC time zone. The UTC time zone is the coordinated universal time, essentially the point where all time zone starts. So I'm in Pacific time. Currently, I am seven hours off of the UTC time zone. I'm going to copy this expression, also known as a template, into each of these fields so we can see the difference of how each of these reacts. I'll hit the run. The very first thing you'll notice is we're getting an error. And that's on our time of day field. The time of day field actually acts a little bit more like a text field than a time field, requiring that the time be entered in a very specific format. I'll go ahead and close this. And for right now, we'll leave this one off and I will rerun the pipeline. I can watch the pipeline running here. And as soon as it's done, I'll head back into my quick base onto this record number two, and I will refresh. For your reference, it is currently June 6th at 7.13 p.m. So just a second ago, it was 7.12 p.m. Notice in the date time field, this is the exact time that we want. That's what time it is right now, June 6th, 7.12 p.m., perfect but you might see something strange in our other fields. The date field says June 7th, as does the text field, June 7th. This is because, as I mentioned, that UTC time zone. The date field, as well as the text field, has no ability to adjust for the time zone, whereas the date time field does. So it's made that adjustment for us. This is fantastic. Anytime we're using that date time field, the time.now template will be our best friend. I'll pop back into the pipeline, close this out. Now let's take a look at that time now really quick. I'll pop that back in here, but now we need to adjust to get it into that string or text format that QuickBase requires. You can even see their little note here. I can do that by adding a period, strf, I think about that as string format, time, followed by the format that I want inside a set of parentheses and single quotations. 
Using the example provided by QuickBase below, I'll enter percent %i colon percent %m space percent %p. This will give me the hours and minutes along with the a.m. and p.m. I'll go ahead and run this one and head back to my record and refresh. Now we're getting the time. This again is in UTC time, 2.15 a.m., but it is in fact a time and we're not getting that error, which is fantastic. For more information on the string format time function, check out my Jinja date and time cheat sheet that you can find the link for below. All right, so what do we do about all of these time zone issues? Well, lucky for us, there's a function in Jinja called time zone. I'm not going to go into detail on using the time zone function here. You can check out my video, time zone troubles, fix it with Jinja for adjusting these different fields into the proper time zone. The one other thing I wanted to show you was a second function that gives you the current date. That one is called time today. We can add that one in to each of our templates here. Some of these makes more sense than others, but let's go ahead and run the pipeline. Head back to my record and refresh. Now pulling in just today, that time.today template only gives me today's date in UTC time at a basically zero hour. You can see that here in the text field. It's giving me the UTC date, which is one day from now on the 7th with that zero hour. It set the time of day to midnight because that is the zero hour. And in my date time field, it actually gave me a seven hour offset from midnight, resulting in a really strange today's date, but a 5 p.m. time when it's actually 7 p.m. and it, it's just kind of strange in my opinion. Even worse now in our date field, we're not getting today, we're getting tomorrow, which can be really misleading depending on how you're using this in your pipelines. For this reason, I never recommend using time.today. It cannot be adjusted into your local time zone the way that time.now can be. There are so many ways that you can use the date and time in your pipelines. In fact, there are six different areas in your pipelines that you can use Jinja templates such as these. For more information on how to adjust and modify dates and times, download the free Jinja date and time cheat sheet. And if you want more in-depth training on Jinja for Pipelines, extending way beyond dates and times, check out the Intro to Jinja course. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and subscribe using the link below. You can also drop me a comment and let me know what you thought and what you enjoyed the most. And then head over to quickbasejunkie.com to grab one of those free downloads. <laughs> Bye for now. Using the link below, using the link below, Bye for now.